Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple one minute test that you can see if you're at risk for a heart attack. Okay? It's an exercise test. And simply, you're, you're assessing your resting pulse rate. You can check it right here on this pulse here or in your neck. Okay? So a normal resting pulse rate is 72. All right, so yours could be higher or lower, but you just want to check your resting pulse rate. Then what you want to do is you want to do a high intensity, full body, not 100% of capacity, something like 70% or 80% of your full capacity. So that's like a, a real hardcore workout for one minute, okay? So your pulse rate is going to go up. Let's say it goes up to 130, okay, or 120, whatever. It could go up to 160. So you want to record at the very end of that one minute workout, you check your pulse rate again, okay? Record it. So then what you're going to do is you're going to wait one minute and you're going to reassess recovery pulse rate, okay? And let's say this went down to 120, all right? So basically what we do is we take the difference from B to C. We, we're subtracting the peace pulse rate, peak pulse rate from the recovery pulse rate after the workout and it's going to give us a number. We're measuring how fast the pulse rate comes down from exercise. So we spike the pulse rate and then we see how fast it comes down. All right. Now, if it comes down less than 12 beats, that like right here, this is only 10 beats right here. If it comes down less than 12, you're at risk for a heart attack. This is a real valid way to detect um, your ability for your body to recover from exercise or in stress. If your numbers are between 13 and 20, there's, you have a moderate risk, okay? Not too bad, you're right in the range. It's kind of the gray area. But if you're between 21 and 40, you're good. That's normal, you don't have to worry about it. Your heart is responding normally. I have patients that are 50 to 60. They can come all the way down. They can get their pulse rate way up and come all the way down within a minute. They're in top shape, they're like athletes. So if you can get your heart rate to respond like that, that's amazing. One of the best indicators to, for health and cardiovascular function is that recovery wave. And I wanna explain, I have a machine that measures this, and I wanna explain what that means, recovery. Recovery is not passive, it's active. So part of the nervous system that raises your pulse rate is called the, the sympathetic nervous system, it's the flight or fight. And part of it's in your adrenals, part of it's in other parts of your body that basically adapts your body to stress. So let's say you run up the stairs, your pulse rate goes up, the blood pressure goes up, everything goes up, right? As soon as you stop, the, the opposite system kicks in called the parasympathetic, okay? Parasympathetic. That is a system that is an active push down wave-like thing that pushes the pulse rate down. So it calms you down. It's the thing that keeps you in a, a state of relaxation. It's the thing that keeps you asleep at night. So it's an active recovery wave. So it's, this system is in the background working hard to keep your pulse rate at 72. It's in the background working hard to chill you out. But it's inactivated like when you're under stress. So that's really what we're measuring is the parasympathetic strength of your heart and your ability to kind of come back to a set point. And if that system is weak, it's a good indication of you're at risk for heart problems. So anyway, how do you fix that problem? Well, you start doing exercise, mini workouts, and then you get a lot of rest in between. You start working your heart, um, you get your pulse rate up, and then you just let your body recover. Because very few people realize that recovery is this parasympathetic. And if you could just do a little short little spike and then let your body recover, it's kind of an exercising to recover your, your heart. So it's all about resting in between the exercise. It's about resting in between the sets of exercise. That's, what I'm, that's how you strengthen this. Of course, well, sleep will do it. Going on long walks will do it. Good nutrition will do it. But so many people are focused on the exercise part they're not looking at the recovery part, which is even more important than the actual exercise and ability to spike your pulse rate and do a hardcore workout. So I just, I'm shifting your attention to something in the background that's very, very vital. 
So uh, go ahead and check your own uh, recovery and see how you're doing, and then you can improve it over time. Thanks for watching.